Did you know that 90% of all the groundwater in India is actually used by agriculture? And if there was one place we have to start to solve for water problems in India, it has to be agriculture. I think after politics and maybe cricket, the water is the most discussed topic in India. There has always been a conversation on micro-irrigation and drip irrigation. I've been in government meetings where they have said that ye to karna hi karna hai. There are a lot of benefits of the micro-irrigation. Why? The basic concept of the micro-irrigation is you irrigate the crop, you don't irrigate the land. The way pricing is done for water is by land size and not based on the volumetric value of water. So there is an incentive, a perverse incentive to actually get more water. Why is the adoption so low today? Number one, one is the technical side of it. Number two, the ecosystem is not available. And number three, the money. I think there is a need for unlocking finance which benefits the environment in some form. We can do everything we want. But the underlying mindset of assuming that the farmer is an intelligent person, I think, stands true. So when he has a knowledge and capability of buying all those which is not related to his livelihood, it definitely knows better than all of us. This is not about one person selling one product. This is an ecosystem that has to be available so that the farmer is making an informed decision just like we are making informed choices. India is still the largest market of micro irrigation in the world. So our farmers are better than the entire world in adopting the technology.